as a codependent, you literally can't do a relationship that across time, you won't create a relationship. You won't co-create a relationship where across time you don't end up feeling abused. You can't not end up feeling abused because you are a codependent. So your approach to the relationship is neurotic. It's dishonest. It's not down the line. It's not like, okay, this is who I am. And this is what I want. And this is what I'm creating. And if you're not for that, you need to toddle off so that I can speak to somebody else. Because most people live unindividuated, uh, uh, possessed by shadow, weighed down by the burden of, of culture and tribal expectation, and, and they can't find their authentic selves. They just can't do it. You don't know yourself. You don't even know you. You won't because you won't let you be you. You won't. You won't. You don't have the bravery. You don't have the skill set. You don't have the strength. It's been beaten out of you to show up as you. So you're like, oh, I can't find a partner. Well, who is this I that we reference as codependent? Who's that? Who's that? The narcissist, for all their faults, they have something called a fantasy self, an ideal, a hyper idealized fantasy self. So that's their delusion. But they have that. They have an identity. It's false. It's false, but they have that. We have nothing. We have nothing. We're ghosts. We're ghosts. We're just chameleons. What do you want, babe? Whatever you want, babe. Whatever you want, babe. So then you go, oh, I feel exploited and used. Well, yeah, because we're we're wank socks. We're dildos. We're not. We don't. We don't show up as anything else. And it's not that you're going to find normal people and then insist on, the, on them instrumentalizing you and using you. I'm not going that far. But I'm saying that if you did meet somebody who wasn't going to instrumentalize you and use you, you'd just be turned off by them. You'd just be like, I'm not going to get to do my favorite repetition compulsion psychodrama dance here. So I ain't doing it. Like, fuck this guy. Fuck this girl. Ugh. Yuck. Like, they give you the ick because they're too normal or they're too safe or they're too sane. So you spew off all the same people, you get with some variation of a nutter, and then you're like, oh no, the wolf is eating my leg. Who would have thought that the wo a wolf, that this is just what they do, would start wolfing, would start wolfing. So this is this game of hide and seek that we're playing with ourselves, and it's masturbatory. And the point is to not grow up. The point is to remain eternally a child. Oh, I can't find a partner. I try. It doesn't work out. Diddly dee. Chase me around the back of the tree and back around again. No, no, no. You're, we're, we're terrified of being locked in time. And then once, because once you have a partner and you have kids, you're now basically, you're on a countdown timer. That's it. I'm f 45 on my next birthday. I've done this my entire life. It's a game. There's a narrative that we're living to fulfill a pre-existing agenda. So we're playing a game, you're seeking to fulfill a pre-existing narrative and you're, you're retroactively post hoc creating the situations that fulfill the narrative. So I am the victim of abusive women, incredibly cruel, sadistic women who hate men and their dads aren't around. Okay. So how about when I get with a girl, I say to her, is your father around? And if she says yes, and I like him, I go box one ticked. See where I'm going with this? It's not flipping rocket surgery. It's a game. I've done this my entire life. We're, we're terrified of being locked in time. It's a game. And the point is to not grow up. The point is to remain eternally a child. I've done this my entire life. Point is to not grow up. It's a game. To not grow up. It's a game.